What's going on, guys? It's your boy Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you're into looking good and smelling great, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well, so that way when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. On today's video, guys, I'm going to be continuing on with my favorite note series. I think we've talked about plum and tobacco, and now we're going to talk about the note of patchouli. I love patchouli and all of its, all of its glory. Uh, make patchouli come continue upon what kind and what other notes is used with can come off earthy uh, Green slightly medicinal in some cases or even chocolatey. All right, this chocolatey cakey patchouli I've heard it described in all of those different varieties I love the note of patchouli and I'm gonna give you guys 20 of the best patchouli fragrances on the market At least the ones that I've had a chance to get my hands on so if you want to see what's on the list You know the routine keep it locked right here Let's get it. Let's go time. For show sure time. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. Now, I always say this when I do a, a list where I talk about notes. These are not necessarily in the order in which I like these fragrances as a fragrance per se. Um, I really go by primarily how much of a role the patchouli plays. If it's really a patchouli dominant fragrance, it's one of the primary things I take into consideration, then how much I like it. Obviously, if it's in my collection, I'm going to talk about it on a list like this. I like or love the fragrance. So that's a given. Uh, but how much the note of patchouli plays a role in the fragrance is a primary thing that I really consider. So if it's more sometimes of a, of a supporting note, it'll be closer to the top of the list. <clears throat> but anyway, in the number 20 spot, this fragrance is from a brand called Veronique Goodbye, and this is called Sexy Garrigue. Sexy Garrigue. This patchouli is used here with amber, primarily in pine. So it's at the bottom of the list or in the 20th spot because the patchouli is more of a supporting note here. Now you get a good dose of it, but to me it's more about that pine-amber combination uh, uh, and the way it kind of combines with the patchouli, but the amber is a little bit more prominent note, honestly, to me. You know, so if you like a good patchouli that has a good presence of amber, this is one you may need to check out from the brand of Veronique Goodbye. It's a really, really sexy fragrance. This is called Sexy Garik. All right, guys, this next fragrance. I, man, I absolutely love this fragrance. But again, it's on the 19th spot because there are other notes that are more prominent than the patchouli. Patchouli is definitely a supporting note here. But this fragrance is amazing. This is called Itzma. This is from Royal Crown. I love this fragrance. Probably my favorite from the brand is dried fruits, leather, tobacco and patchouli man so if you like a good a good patchouli uh, again that's a supporting note here but if you like tobacco you like dried fruits um, you know think of a fragrance like tobacco beneath from Tom Ford guys this is an amazing fragrance and the patchouli if I kind of compare this to uh, tobacco beneath the patchouli gives it a different feel from tobacco beneath but this is a phenomenal scent from the brand of Royal Crown. Again, that's probably my favorite from the brand. Um, this is called Eatsma. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Mind Games, and this is called Gambit. Gambit, this is cloves, cardamom, geranium, and patchouli. So again, you get those spices in the opening of this fragrance, the cloves, the cardamom, and of course you get this freshness in here. The geranium gives a really nice freshness to this fragrance. Uh, used with patchouli. Again, patchouli a more supporting note in this fragrance, but nice nonetheless. So, again, another great one here from the brand of Mind Games. Check this one out. This is called Gambit. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the, the list. Definitely a fragrance where uh, patchouli plays a more supporting role, but it is there. You're going to pick up a lot of patchouli, especially that in Oak Moss on the dry now. And this is called Hasibot from Nishane. All right, so this is pineapple, really, and like I said, patchouli and oak moss. You get that facet there, that really juicy pineapple in the opening, but I've always said 
why this is so different from Aventus to me is because of that patchouli and the oak moss on the dry down. There's a very earthy kind of green patchouli uh, that they use in this fragrance. It is just phenomenal. But you get a good dose of it here when it dries down. So check this one out from the brand of Nishane. This is called Hasibat. All right, guys, the next fragrance comes from the brand of Tiziana Terenzi. This is Ursa. This is Ursa. This is rum, dried fruits, elemi, leather, and patchouli. So again, a good uh, fragrance where patchouli plays a good supporting note, but you get a really earthy patchouli in this one. And you're combining that with leather on a dry down. So this is not, this one is not for the faint of heart, and this fragrance performed like a monster. So again, if you've ever smelled patchouli and you get that more dry kind of earthy aspect of patchouli, this is a nice earthy patchouli with a leather on a dry down. Man, I love it because that dry fruits in here and the rum gives it a boozy, slight sweetness. It's good. It's good, not for the faint of heart, but check this one out. It's a good patchouli nonetheless. This is called Ursa. All right, guys, this next one is going to give you a good um, kind of uh, cost-effective fragrance that, that where they really did patchouli well, in my humble opinion, from the brand of Molinard. This is called Simply Patchouli. And what you're going to get here is Neroli, Orange, Patchouli, and Vanilla. It's really good, guys. Again, kind of a... You like if you like one that gives you that nice citrus opening, you get that there um, in the opening of this fragrance. But again, the roly uh, kind of gives this clean, kind of fresh nuance to this fragrance. But the patchouli is very prominent here and it's well done. But you do pick up a lot of patchouli in this one and it's really well done, especially for what you're going to pay for this one. So if you're looking for a good cost effective patchouli, this is one I highly recommend, guys. From the brand of Molinard, this is called Patchouli. Now, guys, we're getting to the point in this video where there's a lot of patchouli in these next fragrances that I'm going to talk about. Well, starting with Molinard, um, a lot of these actually have patchouli in the name, uh, which no, lets you know that it was really uh, created with the note of patchouli or centered around the note of patchouli. And this is a really good one from the brand of Electimus. This is called Persephone's Patchouli. Persephone's Patchouli. And this is plum, pomegranate, patchouli, and honey. What a concoction this is, guys. Again, if you've listened to the notes, plum. And that plum, pomegranate, honey, sexy patchouli fragrance. Listen, guys, and this is one you got to give a minute to dry down, at least for what I really love about this fragrance. When it dries down and you get that plum, pomegranate, it gives that really juicy sensuality to the fragrance. And, of course, on the dry down, you're going to get the patchouli with the, a little drizzle of honey. Phenomenal scent from the brand of Electimus. Check this one out, guys. This is called Persephone's Patchouli. All right, guys, if I was just going by what fragrance I like the most, this would be the number one fragrance on the list because this is one of my top three fragrances in my entire collection. But it's from the brand of By Killian. This is Straight to Heaven Extreme. Straight to Heaven Extreme. And of course, this is rum, cedarwood, and patchouli. And I think, honestly, the cedarwood plays as much of a factor in this fragrance as the patchouli. They're about 50-50 outside of the booziness that you get uh, in the opening. But nonetheless, it is a great representation of the note of patchouli. And obviously, if it was even more patchouli in this, uh, it would be even higher on this list. But nonetheless, one of my favorite fragrances on the planet. It happens to highlight the note of patchouli. This was from By Killian, and this is called Straight to Heaven Extreme. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from a brand um, entitled Frank Bocklet. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, and this is simply called patchouli. This is called patchouli, right? And this is patchouli, tonka bean, and amber. Wow. Wow, this is another one that's pretty uh, nice to the wallet. I think, you know, I got it off Fragrance Net for probably about 60 or 70 bucks. Guys, this is a really great patchouli, especially for that price. And as I articulated, it highlights two of my other favorite notes in perfumery, amber and tonka. And that's what this fragrance is, patchouli, amber, and tonka bean. And it is really well done. As a matter of fact, uh, this particular um, house has fragrances that have one name, and it's one, no one name, and it's one note. Patchouli, amber, tobacco, cashmere, they're all really, really well done. Seriously. I'm going to be doing a video on this brand pretty soon. But guys, if you're looking for a good cost-effective patchouli, check this one out from the brand of Frank Buckley. This is called Patchouli. 
All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one is phenomenal as well from the brand of Montal. This is called Patchouli Leaves. Patchouli Leaves. And this is Amber, Vanilla, Musk, and Patchouli. Oh, guys, this is so good. This is so good. I love this one because it has that sweetness there. Uh, what you really get uh, that supports the patchouli here is that amber accord, which is like a vanillic amber. All right. Sometimes labdanum is more of a player on a amber accord. It doesn't come off as sweet, but this is one of those benzoin vanilla kind of combinations that really gives a nice base to this fragrance with that patchouli in here. This is phenomenal. And again, this is another one that's not that cost, <clears throat> that expensive. I'm sorry. So check it out from the brand Montalvo. This is patchouli leaves. All right, guys. If you love a good spicy patchouli, this is one of the best in the game. This is Tuxedo from YSL. This is Tuxedo, this is Coriander, Black Pepper, Patchouli, and Vanilla. This is so good, man. That opening is gives a lot of spicy, a spicy kick from Black Pepper. Then, of course, the dry down, Patchouli. Patchouli, 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 love this stuff. A lot of people talk about this one is very popular, so I won't spend as much time on it. But it is a good Patchouli. This is Tuxedo from YSL. Because I love Patchouli so much when I smelled this, smelled this next fragrance initially, it blew me away. It's kind of a sleeper from the brand of Parfums de Marley, and this is Nissian. All right, and this has pink pepper, saffron, albinum, and patchouli. So it's really like, the pink pepper gives a nice rosy nuance to this fragrance, and then of course you get this leathery feel. Saffron, and then the dry down is all about patchouli. This really blew me away because I really wasn't expecting this, honestly, to be as good as it was. But when I got my nose on it, I was so happy I added this to my collection. And that's why it's just outside of the top five for me in my uh, collection with patchouli fragrances. But you guys need to get your nose on this if you like patchouli. This is called Nissian. All right, guys, I think we're about at the seventh spot. An amazing, sweet fragrance that combines patchouli and caramel. From the brand of Unique Luxury, this is Crush On Me. This is crush on me, and like I said, this is all about those two notes to me, patchouli and caramel. So it's a sweet fragrance that combines a caramel and patchouli uh, combination. And seriously, this is a straight to parfum. This lasts all day, literally. So if you like a more sweeter um, scent profile when wearing your patchouli fragrances, I think this is one you're going to love. From the brand of Unique Luxury, one or two sprays is all you need. This is called Crush On Me. All right, guys, now we have the sixth spot, and then we're going to get to my top five patchouli fragrances. And the number six spot goes to this one from Tom Ford, Patchouli Absolute. Patchouli Absolute. And this is leather. Uh, this is moss. This is um, patchouli. And this is rosemary. So it's really this green, kind of spicy, fresh fragrance when it opens up, and then you get nothing but that kind of chocolatey patchouli on the dry down of this fragrance. I absolutely love this stuff. I actually like to blend this with a lot of the other fragrances from Tom Ford, but by itself, it's an amazing patchouli fragrance as well. So, oh, this is so good, guys. Just outside of the top five for me, but one definitely that's worthy to be at the top of, of the list from the brand of Tom Ford. Check out patchouli, absolutely. All right, guys, now we're at the top five. These are the, the top five patchouli fragrances in my collection. This next fragrance comes from the brand of Christian Dior from the La Collection Privé Collection. This is Patchouli Imperial. Patchouli Imperial. All right, guys, and this fragrance features, of course, it features an old patchouli, but there's this beautiful mandarin orange opening with bergamot. So it's a nice citrus opening. I love it. The mandarin, I don't know what about it is, but it works so well with the other notes here, the coriander, the sandalwood, uh, and the patchouli here. Guys, this is so good. It's a little powdery. It kind of smells like there may be like an amber accord on the dry down as well. But it is a great representation of the note of patchouli. This is a very addictive scent profile for me. Oh, it smells so good, guys. If you like patchouli, get your nose on it. Patchouli Imperial. All right, guys. Now, coming in in the fourth spot, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Chanel. This is from their private, uh, less exclusive collection. And this is Coromandel. And this is simply white chocolate <clears throat> and patchouli. It kind of seems like when I start looking at the Chanel Less Exclusive Collection and 
um, Dior, they kind of have fragrances, a few fragrances that kind of mirror one another. I think Patchouli Imperial was kind of uh, Dior's response to Coromandel, which is white chocolate and patchouli. Phenomenal scent. I've talked about it a lot, but this is this is so freaking good, man. So definitely, if you're looking for something sweeter with that white chocolate and patchouli here, this is a great one, man. Put your nose on it. This is Coromandel. All right, guys, the top three patchouli fragrances in my collection. This comes in at number three. The other two simply are a little bit better representation of patchouli. This was from the brand of Jerdoff. This is Richwood. This is Richwood. All right, this is Rose, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Patchouli. When I first got this fragrance, I thought it was going to be more about the Sandalwood, but I was really, really wrong. This is about Patchouli. The sandalwood is a supporting note in this fragrance, and the patchouli with a little bit of vanilla on the dry down is really what this fragrance is all about. It's got a little bit of spicy kick uh, in the opening of this one. It's kind of a spicy rose, but man, this stuff is absolutely next level. If you're looking for a fragrance that is well done and is a great representation of patchouli, you gotta look no further than this, guys. My number three best patchouli fragrance in my collection. This is Richwood. All right, guys, and coming in the number two spot, I went back and forth with number one and number two. And on a given day, they might interchange. But these are definitely my top two patchouli fragrances. And this one right now, I'll put it at number two from the brand of Javoy. Psychedelic. Psychedelic, right? This is amber, musk, and patchouli. Guys, this is so good. When people say chocolate, cakey kind of patchouli, this is what they're talking about. This is what they're talking about. I cannot tell you, as a patchouli fragrance, how good this fragrance is. If you like patchouli, words don't do this justice. You got to smell it for yourself. But it comes in at the number two spot. If you're looking for that chocolate cakey variety, this is the best on the market. This is psychedelic. And in the number one spot for me, if you talk about patchouli, this is my favorite. Um, comes from the brand of Profumum Roma, and it's simply called patchouli. Patchouli, this is amber, incense, and patchouli. And when you talk about patchouli, all those different factors that I mentioned, the facets that I mentioned, the earthiness, the green, the chocolate cakey, the slightly medicinal, this gives you every single aspect of patchouli that you can think of as the fragrance develops. All right, it opens up more earthy, uh, more green, and then it kind of transitions when the amber comes in there to more of a chocolatey, cakey kind of patchouli. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal if you like patchouli and that's why it's in the number one spot from the brand of Profumum Roma. This is called patchouli. But that is it guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 20 of the best patchouli fragrances on the market. As always I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch but you do and I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.